The social life, the displacement, the memory, the uh, leisure, everything. I mean, the daily life uh, through this cooking, through this putting ingredients. Afghan, Iraqi, Arabic, uh, I mean, sorry, Somalia, they have got a very typical way of uh, putting the spice, you know, like they use very uh, minimal spice like garlic, onion, and uh, maybe like tomato and, uh, you know, very rarely um, uh, ginger, but most of the food are like that, you know, like most, um, but in contrast, this Nepali and Bihari is a bit spicy, you know, but they actually use a lot of ingredients which they don't use in their um, kind of country, like Maggi chicken taste, the turmeric, and also sometimes the cumin, you know, so and gradually what happened that once I found out they started giving some spicy um, spice in the food. So I said, why this change? So they said, yeah, we wanted to, you know, experiment because after the kitchen or when they're not coming to kitchen in their daily life, they also have a, have a habit of, you know, like uh, buying the spicy noodles chow mein from the street or momos with very spicy chutney so they enjoy that also you know at the same time but when they cook here they cook a very um, light kind of i mean the uh, the recipes what they have originally got from their um, kitchen but they sometimes you know try to uh, incorporate these uh, kind of uh, ingredients. The color, the uh, taste, the, you know, that with the taste comes your cultural, uh, you know, lineage and your, uh, it reflects your social life just as the artists in different um, culture, they will use their colors, definitely. I mean, it is not different. And it carries so much of the cultural lineage through that, you know. Being an artist myself, I, I mean, a lot of time my, uh, I want to uh, leisure or want to uh, have my free time through cooking. So I'm mean, like, uh, that is another way of expressing your feelings. In a way, when you are putting it in the Instagram, it is kind of presenting uh, presenting as an artist, you know, but I, I myself uh, personally, I find the aesthetics which is coming out of this whole uh, idea of or, or the regular kitchen, regular cooking is different, you know, because uh, the aesthetics is based on the struggle, the struggle of uh, struggle of daily life, whereas the in Instagram is a uh, totally a, con a con I mean a contrast. It it is not saying the struggle there. It is the aesthetics built by me, you know, built by individual. But the real story, the the real life doesn't speak of that uh, that picture skewed. Uh, food or the 
how food must be represented. Uh, that's the way to express their boredom through uh, through cooking food and putting up in there, you know, to share it with their peers or share it with the rest of the world. But, you know, what happened to these people who are migrant workers or the group of women I work with who are also migrants and they are the victim of this whole um, uh, idea of you know like this refugee asylum uh, uh, policies and you know and also the migration policies and everything uh, in the present time these people are facing the challenge again i'm saying in a different way and to them expressing through i mean specifically this project through this project i would I could understand that the whole, uh, the food is so important because they can express their own, uh, you know, their own feelings and they can uh, easily uh, keep a connection with their own culture back home, you know. So the, cult, the connection just because of displ displacement, the connection of the memory and also connection in every uh, single day for their leisure. What is happening now, you know, I don't know what other people, I mean, how food is been looked, but I see again food as a daily need because these women who are making and now it has become a community kitchen called Khana Paros and how Khana Paros is built by these women and they willingly wanted to make this space because that space is not only space for their leisure but the space fulfill their daily hunger. So sometimes I get very uh, tired, but I I can express or I, you know, ooze out all my uh, tiredness, all my anxiety through the food making, through, through cooking. And at the same time, I also, I can do it through my painting.